Verse 11, The angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, shall bear a son, shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. He'll be a wild man. His hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Have you looked at this verse in light of about 4,000 years of history out there in the Middle East and what's going on out there today? He's a wild man. That's been the story of those Bedouin tribes of the desert down through the centuries. And it's a fulfillment of the prophecy that God gave. These are offspring of Ishmael. And they'll tell you out there that they are sons of Ishmael. They are sons of Abraham, but also they are sons of Ishmael, and they go to Abraham through Ishmael. Now, verse 13, And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou God seest me, for she said, Have I also here looked after him that seeth me? Now, how gracious God is to her. It's not her sin. So God very graciously deals with her. And I believe firmly that the angel of the Lord, here's none other than the pre-incarnate Christ, gone out to seek the lost again. He's that kind of a shepherd. And he brings to her this good word. And she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou God seest me. Now, that is something new to her. She did not realize that. You see, they did have a very primitive idea and conception of God. For she said, Have I also here looked after him that seeth me? And she's overwhelmed by the fact that she's seen of God. Now, that doesn't seem to be very impressive to us today because we have a higher view of God than that. But wait just a minute. We probably come just as far short of really knowing about God as she does. You see, it's difficult for a little finite man to conceive of the infinite God. And all of us come short of understanding and of knowing Him. I think that's a theme that will engage us throughout the endless ages of eternity is just coming to know God. And that's worthy of any man's study. That is something that will dignify man's position throughout eternity, is to come to know God. Now, verse 15, And Hagar bare Abram a son. Remember, Ishmael was Abram's son, and Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare Ishmael. And Abram was fourscore, and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram. Now he was eighty-six years old.